So today we'll be talking about is space time real. So according to Newton, space and time were absolute. They were like a cosmic stage in which everything happens, but they don't interact with the things in the cosmos. And gravity was just an attractive force between the objects. But then Einstein came along with a special theory of relativity. He said that space and time are relativistic and space and time are interwoven into a fabric which we call space time. So do we know if the four dimensional space time that Einstein envisioned is real? There's a lot of experimental data behind the theory being right. We'll talk about one of them today. So we'll talk about the experiment called gravity probe B. So in Einstein's universe, celestial bodies like the Earth would warp and curve space time around it. The amount by which Earth warps space time around it is called geodetic effect. Another phenomena called frame dragging. It proposes that massive celestial bodies like the Earth drag their local space time around with them as they rotate. So the gravity probe had to measure these two phenomena. So how did the probe do it? Let's find out. So gravity probe B used four spherical gyroscopes and a telescope. It was housed in a satellite orbit. 642 kilometers above the earth. Gyroscopes were the most nearly spherical objects ever made by man, approximately the size of a ping pong ball. They were perfectly round to within 40 atoms. If one of these spheres was scaled to the size of earth, the tallest mountain and the deepest ocean trench would measure only 2.4 meter or 8 feet high. At the start of the experiment, the telescope and the spin axis of the gyroscope were pointed to a guide star. The telescope was aligned with the guide star for a year as the spacecraft makes over 5000 orbits around the Earth and measures the change in the spin axis of the gyroscope. So, if Newton was correct, so the space-time around Earth won't get warped, but if Einstein was correct, it will and the experiment would measure it. So, if Newton was correct, then the gyroscope would orbit like this with the axis pointing straight to the star always with the earth in the middle so earth warps space time around it and this would cause a deviation in the spin axis of the gyroscope as the shape of the space time is not circular so you can see the results from the experiment on your screen the geodetic effect is very small but it is consistent with the predictions made by Einstein. Now let's talk about the frame dragging effect. In the picture you can see there's a deflection in the gyroscope because of the drag of earth and this was confirmed again by the experiment. By this we can conclude that earth warps space time around it and yes space time is real. So in the next video that will be on Thursday we'll be talking about light speed why it is constant. Till then, please do subscribe for more videos. You can check out my previous videos by clicking here. And if you're on a mobile device, there will be an eye over here. You can click that. Please do like the video, share the video with your friends. As always, stay curious, stay awesome.